Hi everybody, it's Miss Maureen from the Westminster Library. Today, for our STEM program, I wanted to make some ice cream because it's summertime and what's better than ice cream in the summertime? So we're gonna make this ice cream from things that you probably have at your house. So this is half and half. It's kind of like milk, it's just a little bit thicker. So you might not have this at home. You might have to get that, but you only need a little bit. Sugar, vanilla, and this is ice cream salt. But you don't need to have ice cream salt. It just makes it go a little bit faster. If you have regular salt at home, which you probably do, that'll work just as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair up because when I cook, I always put my hair up. All right, so the first, after I get my hair out of the way, we are going to take just a Ziploc bag, any old bag will do. I can open it up. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put it inside this cup just so that it doesn't fall over because that would be a mess. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna add to my ice cream is one half cup of half and half. Do you see how when I pour it out, it looks like milk, but it's just a little bit thicker. And that's what's gonna make our ice cream delicious. All right, so I'm gonna pour that in. The next thing I'm gonna put in is one teaspoon of sugar. Now, I only have a half of a teaspoon measure, so I'm gonna put in two of them. If I can get the bag open, hold on. My sugar doesn't come out. All right, open it up a little bit. There we go. One, and two. One take teaspoon of sugar. Now, this is the best part. This is vanilla. Mm, it smells so good. Have you had vanilla ice cream before? This is the flavor that it is. And you can buy it in a little container. And we're going to put a half a teaspoon, so just a little bit, into our mixture. And that is all we need. Take it out. Sip it up. Nice and tight so it doesn't spill. Give it a little swirl. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Now the next thing we need to do is to get our ice ready. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put salt in our ice. And you might wonder, salt in the ice? Why would you do that? Well, here's the thing. When you put salt on ice, it makes its temperature to freeze go down. So ice normally freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But salty water freezes at a lower temperature. So that's going to help make our cream mixture turn into ice cream faster. All right, so here we go. Now this, I'm going to show you actually, because this is called rock salt. And you can see it's a little bit bigger than what regular salt looks like. So that's why this just makes it go a little faster. And I'm going to put four tablespoons. This is a tablespoon. I'm going to put four of those. Two. It's hard to get it out because it's so big. Three. Let me give it a shake. Sometimes you don't always need to measure. All right. I think that'll do it. All right. Now, if you want it to go even faster, you can bang up that ice. I did it earlier with this wood block, and guess what I did? I put holes in the bag. I'm not gonna do that again, because that kind of made a mess. So I'm gonna switch this around. Oh, it's cold, where it's cold. Cold, 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 cold. Okay, now I'm gonna open that bag up, and I'm gonna put my mixture in there. Get it down in that bag of ice. Get it all nice and covered. All right, are you ready? If you're doing this with me, get ready. I'm going to zip this bag up, and then you need to shake. Are you ready? Shake your ice cream, shake, 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 shake your ice cream, shake, 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 shake your ice cream. Shake your ice cream, fast, 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 I lay my ice cream and my ice on this tray. But you probably have one of these. It's just a cookie tray. I'm going to shake it like this. It's going to go really, really, really fast. Oh, I got ice flying out of my bag. 
Oh boy, how to zip that up. So it might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes. You just gotta shake it up as fast as you can. Now, I'm gonna show you because I made some earlier. Let me show you how big the came to this cream. Look how big it is now. Mmm, mmm. Delicious. All right, I can't wait to hear about you guys making your ice cream at home. You'll have to tell me how it tastes. And we will see you next week. Bye.